Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're at the Bennington Museum. In Bennington, Vermont. That's where we are. That's where we are. going on here? Well, this is a story of Widow Krieger. Okay. And um, it happened near North Pownell in the mid-1780s. Now, she was a widow of um, one of the original Dutch settlers of Pownell. Okay. So, she was ex said to be an extraordinary woman, in quotations, um, which brought upon her the envy and suspicion of the good people, and a safety committee was <laughs> brought up. Just like at the so, other place. Well, yeah, so they came up with two tests to Put see it. if she was a witch. Okay. okay. First test was um, have her climb a tree, and they would chop the tree down while she was in it, okay. and if she survived, she was a witch. Okay. The other choice was um, to be a trial by water, and that's where you were thrown into the water, okay. and if you floated to the top, um, you were a witch, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, dead, so, un dead either way. Well, right. So, no, <laughs> right. no win so in there. Krieger, However, with good luck, maybe, I'm not sure, was thrown into the icy cold Hoosick River and sank. Yeah. Her accusers got her out. She was likely bound with rope. Right. And after her acquittal, because she sank, yeah. um, she lived a few more years, dying at the age of 66 in 1790. Right. This one right here, we have footage of it, and there's the vampire. Up in Manchester. This is a Robert Collins. Yep. 19, yeah, it's even signed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're filming about that. That's in the Manchester. I like it to it. Yeah, the. It's right uh, in the little village. It's not the one on the. Yeah, no. No, um, out by what is it called? All right, so these are spirit portraits. You can see a little uh, other person in the background on that one. You see it as well here where he's talking to George Washington, apparently. Yeah, right off the dollar bill, looks like. Yeah. This one's not done as well. <laughs> this guy didn't even try. <laughs> These are spirit pictures. There's supposed to be a spirit behind you, but it was like, <laughs> he didn't even bother fading it in. This guy did all right. There's George Washington there. I take it these are hoax. Yes. And this one's probably the best one of them all. Spirit photo of Solomon, Jewett, and friends. Yeah, he, he, this guy went overboard. He, re he really put in the effort. The several friends from <laughs> about. Yeah, we've got the Bennington Triangle here. I like this uh, missing uh, thing. I think seven of them were missing, but they found alive, $5,000. They found dead, $2,000. Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. And, uh, yeah, the Bennington Triangle. I think it spurred on a few police uh, stories here. And we have... I think it all started with lovely Paula Weldon. Okay. Uh, no way you're going to get the, the, the spirit. The ghosties? I don't, yeah, see any, yeah. I don't see any ghosties. Yeah. That's it. That's you. Just me being a ghost. Uh, spirit selfies. Let it come out. You know, it's funny because you can see my the, the tarot card on the back of my, of my camera. <laughs> this is the spirit selfie. I'm going to do a spirit selfie film. <laughs> Ooh. You got to get in there close, I think. There it is. So, this is a handkerchief. A handkerchief. The spirit writing on it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> really? Portrait of Hugh and Wright Carpenter. <sighs> members of one of the uh, Pownell's earliest families. It's twin boys. Both died of dysentery. Okay. Just three and a half months apart. Me a little bit about of the, two years of age. A little bit of the girls on the shining. Eh? And ever. And ever. Yeah, and of course we got all inappropriate Abe here. <laughs> <laughs> As seen on Roadside America. That's right. <laughs> 